The reason I ask this is because a few weeks ago on the show, uh, we were talking about a group of people called nerd fighters. Right. Okay. Now, it turns out nerd fighters are followers of two guys that call themselves the Vlog Brothers. Now, the Vlog Brothers are Hank and John Green. They have their own YouTube channel and they have over one million viewers to the stuff they put up on YouTube. Right. Now, I was fascinated by these guys. So during the week, I got together with a whole bunch of nerds uh, and had a Skype chat with one of the Vlog Brothers in this exclusive report. Nerds. Who are they? Who do they look up to? And if they're so awkward with the opposite sex, why are there so many of them? <laughs> today in an Adam Hill's Tonight Today exclusive, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this weird world of globally connected freaks. What better way to do that than with a group of nerds? Hang on, what's the, what's the collective term for a group of nerds? Right. And what better way to do that than with a Shatner of nerds? <laughs> Josh, Alice, if I took you into a room now and set you up on a Skype call, with one of the Vlog Brothers, how would that be? Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know how to react to that. Would you say this is possibly the most exciting day of your life? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. I would say so. Come very close, yeah. if not. John and Hank Green are known to their followers as the Vlog Brothers. Their YouTube channel has over one million subscribers. They sold out a night at Carnegie Hall. They Skyped with President Obama. Today, I'm chatting with Hank Green because his brother John is off on paternity leave. That's right, people. This guy actually had sex with a lady. <laughs> Hello, Hank Green. <laughs> How many nerd fighters around the world do you estimate there are now? Hundreds of thousands, at the least. I feel like there are more nerd fighters per capita in Australia than, than in a lot of places, definitely than in America. I don't know why that is, but you guys are like, I feel very bad that I have never visited you. There's excitement in the room. Feel <laughs> free. They're all saying you should feel bad, but when you said there were more per capita in Australia, someone in my ear whispered, yes. <laughs> and it's been a long time since someone whispered that in my ear. <laughs> the question that was most commonly posed to me on Twitter, who the F is Hank? Yes. Why is that funny? <laughs> Why is that funny? <laughs> I think part of being a nerd fighter is, is uh, understanding that there are a lot of things that don't make any sense but are amazing anyway. Um, what is in your pants? <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing comedy for a long time. I've never got so many laughs while not knowing what it is I'm actually saying. Uh, every book and movie title can be improved by adding in your pants to the end of it. For example, Little Women? Yes, that's an excellent example. That is why you are the comedian in charge of hosting shows. <laughs> Little women in your pants. <laughs> Pride and Prejudice in your pants. Yes. Yep. It keeps going. The Grapes of Wrath in your pants. <laughs> why did President Obama Skype John? I don't know. I guess because John is so amazing. That's why. Oh. 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 I told my, my brother's unborn child not to forget to be awesome. And the thing that we say in Nerdfighteria is DFTBA, which stands for don't forget to be awesome. Okay, what is the Nerdfighter symbol? Guys, could we all assume the symbol, please? And uh, here. just for you. <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Hank. <laughs> so what have we learned? Absolutely bugger all. I still have no idea what these people are talking about. But in a world of negative press, political sniping and global crises, it's good to know someone out there is not forgetting to be awesome. Back to you, Adam, in the studio. <laughs> the thing is, there are some nerds in the audience. In fact, Josh, Josh, who was in that group, is sitting up there. Uh, they have their DFTVA T-shirts on. <laughs> Uh, look, Josh, I know you've got a spare T-shirt, and uh, if ever there's a group of people in the world that need to be awesome right now <laughs> and need to remember to be awesome, it's our nation's politicians. <laughs> so could you please present that shirt to the member for Deacon? <laughs> I now pronounce you Minister for Nerds. <laughs>